I want to single out one uh, initial comment from David Cameron. We're not turning our back on Europe, but we want to create a more flexible Europe. That's not easy to do when you're not a member of the core right now. So what can he really accomplish in this dance of negotiation with the European Union, in your view? Everybody's going for a more flexible Europe, and I think uh, they're going to get it if they're all more flexible themselves. There's a lot that they can do at the at European level, yes, but also at the national level. Mm. If the UK or the French and the Germans and the Italians all become more flexible, more competitive, and this is names, this is education, this is innovation, and this is competition, and this is uh, taxes, R&D, flexibility in the labor markets, flexibility in the product markets, well, so the things that will keep them here, going. Yeah, but you're suggesting here that the long arm of Brussels is what frustrates the UK, as you well know, and that they're entrenched in every aspect of business, bogging down business with labor laws, bogging down business with tax harmonization. Is it time to say this doesn't work candidly? The Eurozone uh, structure that we have today doesn't work? The UK doesn't want to go deeper into Europe, as Angela Merkel suggested? No, I don't agree with you that it is Brussels, because basically, uh, normally Brussels uh, is setting the stage, yes, but it's following also. It is really the countries that are taking the leadership. Well, particularly and France and Germany. The this transformation, the well, the there, transformation right? that is happening, and, and here we have a problem. Europe has a problem of divergence in productivity and uh, competitiveness. Why? Because uh, there are countries that have been for 10 years increasing their wages more than their productivity. Mm. The southern countries, the periphery countries, the countries that are today in trouble. And there are countries like Germany that has been increasing its wages uh, lower than their productivity. Therefore, they are very competitive. Mm. So there's a problem of convergence within Europe and then of the European bloc with the rest of the world. And this is what Mr. Cameron is talking about, but he's also talking about the same challenges that everybody's facing today. What's his primary motivation? I know it's, you, you have a very political job, so you don't go jumping off the cliff here with criticism, but do you really think that he wants to take the UK down to this cliff and say, this is what it looks like if we jump out of Europe? He really wants to stay in? He's just buying him time, uh, buying himself time for the next election? The question of Europe and the Euro, etc., has been a, a famous element of discussion in the UK uh, since the beginning, okay? Mm -hmm. Remember the times when the French would not uh, allow the, the UK into the Union? Well, that's still on in all this discussion. Now, but uh, UK benefits a lot from being part of Europe. It will continue to do that. And as Europe integrates further, in the next five years we'll see a period of recovery and further integration, then the British people will feel even less inclined to leave uh, Europe because it's a good thing going you know they benefit from it now uh, Mr. Cameron suggested they may never join the Europe that's another matter you know the question of the convergence of the policies is what makes Europe and will make Europe even stronger it's about the scaffolding Europe is always reinventing itself uh, redesigning itself strengthening itself but once you remove the scaffolding you're in awe of what gets there it's uh, the Duomo in Milan or the Cathedral in Cologne or the Notre Dame you know but in the in the meantime, there's a lot of dust and a lot of noise, you know, and a lot of uh, 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 tapping and, and whatever. The, the traffic has to be diverted in front of the cathedral. This is what's happening today. We're rebuilding. It's going to be stronger. Nobody's going to leave. I see, if anything, that more countries are going to be joining the euro. Maybe not the UK, but more jo uh, countries are going to be in a joint. Nobody's in a rush. <laughs> but you're but suggesting here that the UK is not going to leave the European is, Union. No, I'm suggesting that they won't. They will find it in their wisdom that probably it's the best for them. And whenever that happens, because he's at 2015, 2017, so it's not going to happen anytime too soon.